Hey everyone, Mike here and in this video we'll take a short look at the best 5 features of the Nokia Lumia 925, Nokia's latest flagship. The first thing to note is the redesigned body. Looks might not be a feature per se, but Nokia really upped their game with the 925. Don't get me wrong, their top Lumias have been stellar in these few last years, but rather bulky and heavy. This one is no longer an overweight device, and with its 8.8mm thick and roughly 135g heavy body, it can now stand next to its competitors, like the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the HTC One. The metallic edges do add to the premium feel, and the plastic back nicely integrates with the rest of the body. And then there's the camera. It's the same 8.7 megapixel sensor with optical image stabilization and size lenses from the Lumia 920. But the lens ensemble has been slightly redesigned, adding a sixth layer of glass to the five already available, and that should improve the sharpness of images and clips. On the other hand, there's no Xenon flash like on the 928, but even so, Nokia claims their Lumia 925 will raise the bar higher for mobile photography, implementing new technologies and software algorithms with impressive performances in all sorts of light conditions. Nokia's samples are impressive indeed, but we'll hold our final judgment for a future review. So while there's no groundbreaking change to the camera's hardware, Nokia did focus on software for the 925. That being said, this handset comes with SmartCam, a new camera app that automatically takes 10 burst shots and then lets the user choose what to do with them. They can select the best shot between these, make an action shot that combines several instances of the moving subject in one pick, use the motion focus that blurs all the elements in the picture that are not moving, and they can of course remove not wanted elements from stills as well. Wireless charging is not a novelty anymore for top-of-the-line Lumias. However, on the 925, wireless charging is not possible out of the box like on the 920, you need to use a series of snap-on rear plates to enable that, available in a bunch of different colors, including red and yellow. Besides that, the phone comes with a 2000mAh battery that should get you through the day with average use at ease. And then there's the screen. It's still a 4.5 inch display with 1366 by 768 pixel resolution like on the 920, but the LCD panel was replaced with an AMOLED panel. That will make blacks clearly deeper, and since there are plenty of blacks with the Windows 8 UI, that's great. On the other hand, colors might look oversaturated and bright light visibility might suffer, but we'll know more about that once we get to test this handset. Alright, so that's about it for now. The Lumia 925 is basically a compacted Lumia 920 with a redesigned body and a slightly superior camera. The hardware, software and battery are on par. But we'll tell you more about how the two stand one next to the other in another video, so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel, we'll have more in-depth coverage of the Nokia Lumia 925 in the next days and especially the weeks to come. So I hope to see you around, catch you later.